Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 questions exploring the life and teachings of Jesus. Subscribe, like, and share your score. Join as a member for exclusive content. Let's begin. Question 1. To whom did the Lord Jesus give the power to become the sons of God? A. To those who believed in his name. B. To the scribes and Pharisees. C. To all the people of Israel. D. To the Gentiles only. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 12. Question 2. Who did Herodias' daughter ask for the head of? A. John the Baptist. B. Peter. C. Paul D. James Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king and asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and by in a charger the head of John the Baptist. Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verse 25. Question 3. What did the unclean spirits do when they saw Jesus? A. They ran away from him. B. They fell down before him and cried out. C. They tried to tempt him. D. They ignored him. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verse 11. Question 4. Who is described as being full of grace and truth? A. Moses. B. Lord Jesus. C. John the Baptist. D. Elijah. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 16. Question 5. What did John the Baptist say about the one coming after him? A. He shall be called Emmanuel. B. He shall lead Israel out of Egypt. C. He shall baptize with the Holy Ghost. D. He shall give the Ten Commandments. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And preached, saying, there cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 7. Question 6. Where did Jesus and his disciples arrive at the other side of the sea? In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, 
verse 1. A. Gennesaret. B. Dalmanutha. C. Gadarenes. D. Bethsaida. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 1. Question 7. Who was sent from the Pharisees to question John? A. The scribes. B. The Essenes. C. The Herodians. D. The Pharisees. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 24. Question 8. Who said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord? A. Jesus. B. John the Baptist. C. Peter. D. Paul. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Esaias. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 23. Question 9. What did Jesus say would happen when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them? A. They shall rejoice. B they shall fast. C. They shall sleep. D. They shall feast. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verse 20. Question 10. When Jesus passed over again by ship unto the other side, who gathered unto him, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 21. A. The Pharisees. B. The disciples. C. Much people. D. The scribes. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 21. Question 11. What did the devils request of Jesus concerning the swine? A. That they should enter into the swine. B that they should be destroyed. C. That they should remain in the man. D. That they should return to hell. Time to think.
The right answer is letter A. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 12. Question 12. By what body of water did Jesus begin to teach? A. The Sea of Tiberias. B. The Red Sea. C. The Jordan River. D. The Sea of Galilee. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. And he began again to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered veen to him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verse 1. Question 13. Who hath seen God at any time? A. Moses. B. David C. Elijah D. No man Time to think. The right answer is letter D. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 18. Question 14. According to the instruction given by Jesus to his disciples, what did he tell them to do when they entered into a house? A. Remain there until they depart from that place. B. Leave immediately. C. Convert as many people as possible. D. Seek out the wealthiest person in the town. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And he said unto them, in what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verse 10. Question 15. What did the Pharisees do regarding Jesus on the Sabbath day? A. They invited him to teach. B. They defended him. C. They watched him if he would heal. D. They anointed him with oil. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And they watched him whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verse 2. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.